Hey everybody, we're back. Spring uh, yard. Do you remember <laughs> the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons? There was there was a good one and a bad one. Dude, that was weeks ago. Oh, that was last week. Man, you know what I found the other day? Uh, I was wandering past Far Out Flex, and sometimes yeah. when they have like stuff that they just don't want anymore, they'll just like put it outside for people to take. It's a good place to go if you want VHS. Yeah, it is, actually. Um, no, I, uh, I found a uh, VHS cassette of the old, of a couple episodes of the old Aladdin cartoon. Oh yeah, I used to watch it oh, a lot. Oh man, yeah, me too. Man, that show. That show was good. For, you know, what it was. Yeah. But... Better than it should have been. Oh but... yeah. Oh. But, uh, so that's kind of neat, like, seeing that again, and... Oh. Oh. That was less cool. I remember my my buddy always used to say he could get caught by the cops here. He'd get speeding tickets. Because it was that, like, blue thing that came up behind me. Like, that's what they do, essentially. Huh. If you're going too quickly? Something like that. Really? That's how I remember it. I don't know if that's, like, if a made-up memory actually a or not. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Sonic Cartoon, eh? Yeah. Uh, and then there's Sonic Cartoon and Knuckles. Oh god, yeah. Sonic and Friends. But, I don't know, when you... <laughs> I just remembered the, that's no good! Oh god. You, got, you you said you haven't played Sonic Adventure, right? Uh, not extensively. Okay. So at some point... I'm just I'm, not like a 3D Sonic person, really. Yeah. I would like to take a playthrough of that at some point on the stream. I think that could be kind of fun. But there are some parts of that game, Knuckles parts, that are real rough. Um, Whee! Like, I've got a lot of fond memories of that game, but... Not it's, me! It's all of the bits that, like... My fond memories are of Ready to Rumble Boxing and Soul Ooh, Calibur. Yeah, oh, especially Soul Calibur, the loudest game ever created. Ready to Rumble Boxing was great. Yeah! So we had Ready to Rumble Boxing on a uh, demo disc, but I could only ever play it when my parents weren't around because they didn't like, like the violence of a fighting game like that. Okay. So I could only play Ready to Rumble Boxing, the demo for Ready to Rumble Boxing when they weren't around. That's unfortunate for you. Yeah, it really was. But, but uh, my friend had Soul Calibur, so that was cool. I got to play that a lot over his place. That and Doom. Mood? Doom. Mood? Mood? Well, they got life. Oh, oh. down there. Oh, we'll Actually, it wasn't a life, that was a continue. Oh. Even better. Yes. Indeed. Oh. Chaos Emerald. Oh, that matters at this point. We've missed one. Well, you can get... You have many chances to get them. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. It's not like two. <laughs> like how there's up and down, like it's some kind of... Whoa. There we go. <laughs> Jesus, that took a while. Diddly -do. Yay, new continue. Yeah, so how does it feel to be playing Sonic? That's fun. Good yeah. game. Yeah. You should buy it. Nah. This game's, like, still pretty cheap, which is great. <laughs> yeah. Genesis games are some that are expensive, but it's not like fucking collecting Super Nintendo. Oh god, yeah. Well, when the Zeitgeist came back for, like, retro games, it was it was all the Super Nintendo and NES. Yeah. A little bit the NES, mostly the SNES. Well, the thing is, that Zeitgeist never goes away. It's just... Yeah. It was our generation's... Yeah. But, like, there was a while where, where retro games were not super expensive, and then, like, they just shot up. It's like, it's like the vinyl revival. They just shot up in price. Yeah. Um... 
I honestly think YouTube has something to do with that, like all the gameplay videos and stuff that people do, like our channel. Not our channel specifically, but you know. Yeah, but like, good versions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, people are like, oh yeah, I remember that game was a lot of fun, I'm gonna go out and buy it! You know, and then they buy it, play it for like 10 minutes and go, okay. Uh, I think at this point, everyone knows how expensive old games are. Yeah, because they've gone back up in price. Like, when was the last time you saw that dude that's like, oh, what? $30 for Sonic, that's Oh, no, yeah, you're absolutely right, but like, when I bought my SNES off uh, Steven at Games Exchange, this was like 2007, it was yeah. 30 bucks. Yeah. Now they're going for, what, 60, give or take? 55, 60? That's still not bad. Yeah, so it's like... Like, compared to some, like, the 3DO? Yeah. Well, yeah, like, compared to the, the Ultra Collector's things, but, like, it doubled in price, that's a lot. Yeah. You know, and games went from, like, I bought a whole bunch of games when I bought it for, like, four ninety nine. Those games are now all, like, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. So. But, yeah, like, Sega stuff still has stayed relatively cheap. Except uh, for, like, a handful of them. Yeah. Like, uh, Splatterhouse 3. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And, uh, I, I think that's okay. It's hard to find Sega stuff around here, I find. Like, Steve, because I usually go to Games Exchange, because it's not that yeah. far from where I live. It's, like, super convenient for me to get to. Oh. Um, and Steve's, like, an awesome friend of the channel. So, yeah. uh, but, like, I don't... He rarely ever has Sega stuff. Yeah. Uh, I got my Dreamcast off him, like, almost by accident. <laughs> it's like, hey, do you have a, any Dreamcast coming up? He's like, no, I don't think so. And eventually he was, like, rummaging around in the back, and he's like, Dude, I found a Dreamcast <laughs> buried beneath all this other stuff. Do you want it? Nice. <laughs> so, like... Yeah, like, there's just not a lot of Sega stuff around here, which kind of sucks. Uh, um, we might get all the Chaos Emeralds after all, uh -huh. who knows. Just depends how well I can do in these bonus yeah. stages. For your worst-case scenario, we just get a bunch of continues. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Uh, which way? Not that way? No, no, not that way. <sighs> this song's weird. Yeah. It's very kind of fun housey. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not that way. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Don't you want to collect all the Chaos Emeralds so you can beat Dr. Robotnik? See? This is how you can tell the frame diff- Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, no, that's- Flashed on the television, but it doesn't flash on the, uh- Oh. We're, we're, what are we recording at? 30? Yeah. What's the, uh, TV output at? 60. Yeah, that's fine. 60 frames per second, 240p. Yeah. I always liked the 240p stuff better than the 480i that came after. I, uh, there was actually a really interesting uh, Giant Bomb video where they were talking about, um... Video like, formats? Sorry? Video standards? No, no, they were talking about how, like, how people break the code in emulators to, like, do things like, oh, here's what you need to do to make uh, Mario Invincible. Oh, in, I see. In Mario 3. And it's about, like, oh, looking at, the, like, getting the code breakdown as it goes by, trying to figure out what changes when you hit the invincibility, and then locking that into place. Yeah, it's essentially but, what the Game Genie yeah. did. Yeah, but, like, with with their setup, they have the same setup that we do, where they record at 30, yeah. uh, based on what the TV, but the TV's output, they don't do a pass-through or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly how it works. No, it's like ours. Um... But when they got Mario to start flashing for the invincibility, he was just invisible to everybody. Oh. Because the flash was perfectly synced to the frames that were dropping. Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. Yeah. It's like, well, you know we did it because we can't see him anymore. <laughs> Whee! I love that part. Yeah, that's going fast. So everybody needs to go out and buy soap shoes to celebrate Sonic, okay? You can do what you want to celebrate whomever you want. I would buy a pair of soap shoes. I'm not about to tell people who or what to worship. If, if, if I could get a pair of soap shoes for the same price I could buy a regular pair of sneakers, I would do it in a heartbeat, okay? Let's see what's this way. Drugs. Oh, I love that bass. Yay. Cope! Cope! D! 
deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Get a job. I always felt that this level paralleled uh, Casino Nights. And, oh, oh, yeah. I didn't expect that. No. I'm always, like, thrown off when there's a pit in these games, because there's always, like, a lower level. Yeah. Oh, especially um, on Sonic CD. Yeah. That game gets, like, deeper every time you think, this can't be the bottom of the level. Oh, it still goes deeper. Apparently Mario uh, Odyssey has no pitfalls. Really? Yeah. I'm kind of interested to see... Hey, check it out on the very bottom right of the screen. When you jump. See that? I'm not looking. Well, carry on with your life, then. But uh, a little bit of the grass, like, comes up and covers up half that block in the bottom right there. Uh, but anyways, um, you'll see it when you watch the episodes. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? It was a thing. Mario Odyssey? Yeah, I'm actually really excited to see what that is. I don't know a whole lot about it. Like, I, I didn't watch the Nintendo presser. Oh, I did, and it looks amazing. Yeah, it yeah. involves, like, throwing a hat with eyes at things. Yeah, and it, you can take things over. So it's Driver San Francisco, but Mario. No. No? Oh, here it is. Great, great song, but this is the worst level in the game. Why is it so bad? Yeah, you'll just experience just experience it and okay, and see how you feel about this it. This is worse than that Mystic Cave Zone. No, Mystic Cave Zone's my favorite level in oh. Sonic Two. Well, I take it back then. All right, it's got the water, which means we may hear the most terrifying music to like any child of our generation. I think it's like the mystical song. ninja song. Yeah. This makes me think of like Goman. Go away, Mon. Go away. Go away, Mon. This looks labyrinthine. Oh, look, he hit the side of the spikes and he didn't get hurt. I'm always down for that. I'm being conservative with air. Oh, yeah. So you don't hear the most terrifying sound? No, because I know it's not going to be like this forever. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Also, I like that sound. It's very satisfying. It is. Okay, all right. Do you remember young Indiana Jones at all? Wow. That okay. sucks. <laughs> Came out of nowhere at you. Do you remember young Indiana Jones at all? Yes, I do. Yeah? Last time I was at Pico on, they had uh, that on DVD. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I found one of the... I found a uh, young Indiana Jones number 18 on VHS. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Curse of the Peacock. I'll have to give that a watch. Collecting TV shows on VHS was the worst. Yeah. It was even worse with anime, because it'd be like $60 for two episodes. Yeah. Uh, collecting TV shows on Laserdisc is an unholy nightmare. Uh, because, for instance, every, every series of Star Trek except Enterprise has been put out on Laserdisc. Yeah. Uh, but it's only one episode per side. So two episodes per disc. That sucks. Yes. So when you think alone, like, there was, what, 20 episodes per season of TNG, give or take. Yeah. So that is 10 discs. So just for TNG, you're looking at 100 discs. Yeah, that's that's not what normal people would do. Yeah, it, it's completely insane. Um, I mean, that's cool. I think that'd be awesome to have, because it would look really nice on the shelf. Shit! But, uh, that's not a thing that people do. Yes. Ooh, oh, fucking hell. I yesed too soon. <gasps> ah, Stefan! Oh. 
face. Oh. Don't go up. Sorry, I had to clench my ass a little bit there. I was scared. Yeah, now don't ride this all the way up to the top. Why? Why, game? Worst part is I have to go up, too. I just have to go. So what am I supposed to do, then? Go left. No, I have to hit that button. Jump, go... Oh, yeah. Jump across. There you ah. go. Now what did that button do? Opens this up. Oh. This is... Yeah, I hate this fucking level. <laughs> but I really like this song. Yeah. Do you wish you had a gravity suit right now? Yeah. Especially when I accidentally roll and it doesn't stop rolling for like <laughs> half an hour. Can't stop, won't stop. Gotta go fast. I would call that the yacht. Wow. <laughs> that cheese? Yes. Or sponge? Oh, it's cork. It's cork. Uh, have you seen the new Sonic, uh, Sonic Hero? Not Heroes. Uh, Sonic... Boom? Boom, yes. No. No? It's... Well, I've seen, like, a video or two of, like, the old Game Grumps around of it. Yeah. Well, old now. Yeah. That game itself is old now. Those guys are in Sonic 2. That's gotta two. be, what, two or three years? Yeah. Oh, watch your spikes. Okay, we're clear. A dog thing is woofing at you. Yeah, Sonic Boom was... Oh, boy. Like, I, the gameplay was really good, I thought. Because, like, this is basically like they've made a behind-the-back 2D Sonic. But everything else about that was real tough. Well, from what I understand, it's just broken. Yes. Yes, it's a bit of a horrible glitchy mess. But also, like, the characters are really badly done, like, voice acted, and the animation's not great. Which sucks, like... But yeah, like, 3D Sonics, like, how do you make a, the 3D Sonic? Uh, I don't know. Besides making a 2D Sonic with, like, 3D effects. Sonic Mania looks pretty good. Yeah, Sonic Mania does look good. Generations was good, but that was a 2D Sonic. Well, not entirely. Oh, no. It was... It was as much of a 3D Sonic as it was a 2D Sonic. Yeah. But. Oh, I hate this part. Is this... This is just Zone 2, right? Yeah. Uh, I think so, yeah. One thing I don't like about Sonic 1 is the whole three zones per act. Yeah, instead of two. Need some air soon. Yeah. Oh, good. 